Okay, this is part two of our uh, software factory testing. Um, this is much like part one, except instead of creating WinForms, we'll be creating ASP.NET grids um, using the Developer Express um, grid control. And it's done in much the same way. Um, you create a new solution from our software factory guidance package and um, you give it a name and then in much the same way you right click and tell it to start a new ASP.NET DevX grid view project and then again you point it at a DSL file and you finish the wizard to begin the artifact creation it'll say the database is already created because we've already run the solution before it's created the, uh, the SQL again now it's creating uh, the ASP.NET uh, files. Just have one small change. We're going to move the um, link to SQL classes that it generated to app code so it compiles. This is uh, one of our development to do's. And so now when we build the website, Build was successful, and we view this in the browser. If we go to test.aspx, as you can see, we now have DevX grids uh, that act and behave in much the same way as uh, WinForm grids. The columns can be changed and um, you know, as we scroll down, we can see that all of the um, classes in our model have been generated. And, um, and this can be further modified uh, to support other things like advanced grouping and filtering as well.